Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation 1. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, then why not hit that subscribe button because I do a wide variety of content from retro gaming to health, fitness, topics and discussions of interest each and every month on my YouTube channel. Right, so today I thought I'd do a Claire B fun run. So what do I mean by Claire B fun run? Well, I did Leon's Ace scenario and I got the rocket launcher uh, because I got an A ranking so I figured since I've done so much Leon A I thought I'd unwind and I'd let Claire use the rocket launcher on the B scenario and again just have some fun hence the term fun run. Um, I will also be doing a separate Claire B run where I try to get an A ranking so hopefully there's going to be a double dose of Claire B videos uh, in the next uh, few days or maybe even um, some more Leon uh, B and Leon A as well because I'm thinking I might want to see if I can do Leon A a little bit faster. Anyway, let's load up the scenario. I will see you after the opening FMV where we will kick things off and get on with the action. See you in a bit, guys. In the midst of the T virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors. A woman named Ada. A spy seeking the deadly G-Virus. However... Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? 
Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Still in one piece. <gasps> that maniac's gonna ram us! Run! Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Um, I just have a completely different experience, but uh, the goal remains the same, to escape from Raccoon City. Uh, as you can see, things are slightly different on the other side of the fire. Um, zombies are everywhere, and you kind of need to dodge them really, <laughs> that's, that's the idea. And there we are, and get to the end. It's been a while since I've done Claire's B scenario to be honest. Um, I basically started playing this again um, after three years and really enjoyed it and I thought you know what I just want to make videos on this now. That's kind of all I wanted to for the moment. Oh great. I need a key. Oh fudge. Alright okay. Fine. I need to go get a key. I'm so out of practice with this game it's unbelievable. Let's pop in here anyway. And the key we want is in here. Okay, that's good. Okay. Let's see if I can dodge past the zombie. Oh, yes. Look at that. That was a great dodge. And we'll move over here and we will get into the police station this way. So you will recognize um, this area. This is like the um, the back door to the police station. This is where we come in as Leon A to get the valve handle, but items have been moved around. That's the thing about the B scenario. Um, items are not in the same place. Um, you have to kind of hunt around all, all kinds of different ways to get the items that you need. And Claire's gonna be picking up different puzzle pieces anyway. It's so easy to get the scenarios mixed up. Because Claire's A and B scenarios are totally different. Just like Leon's A scenarios and B scenarios are different. Look, we're here now. Check it out. The zombies seem to move a little bit faster on the B scenario. And let's pop up the stairs. So yeah, that's one plot hole that's actually been filled and that's why the chopper crashed essentially. So I think the goal is basically, the first goal is we need to pull out the chopper fire. So we might as well try and do that. And again, I need to get my hands on the rocket launcher and there's a cheeky herb there. So the rocket launcher is in the save chest and uh, I need to go get it. 
this guy's got. I don't even know why I'm picking up the ammunition, because I'm not even going to be using my gun, but, well, let's pop in here. Alright, so basically the valve handle is... Oh, hello, there's a liquor here. The valve handle is in the office. It's been moved on the B scenario. Uh, it's all been... As I said, everything's been rearranged, so we need to go and get it. So let's just dump our gun, because we're not going to be using it. Dump the knife. And let's use the old rocket launcher. There we go. And that's all we're really going to need. And the rocket launcher makes us so friggin' overpowered, um, the enemies won't know what hit them. It's the ultimate weapon. And that's kind of one reason why I wanted to do it, because I just wanted, again, to have some fun, because I spent ages on Leon A. I just kind of wanted to un unwind a little bit. Let's go get the valve handle. And I thought it'd be nice to do something different as well on my channel. As I said, a legit Claire B A rank run is coming very soon. Can I get here? Yes. Alright, let's go pull out the fire. Okay, I don't think we're really going to be needing any herbs. You never know though. So I might just take a couple with me just in case. So let's just pick some up. Go this way. I've got to get out of the habit of picking up ammunition as well because, like, uh, I spent so long uh, on these scenarios just like knowing where all the ammo caches are and stuff. But again, with the rocket launcher, you don't need any ammo, and the valve handle is right there, and that's all we need. So now we can go and pull out the fire. Yeah, the rocket launcher makes things so much easier. Also, keys are in a different place as well, um, and Claire will be collecting stones. She won't be collecting plugs like Leon, but stones, when she goes into the uh, Chief of Police's office, he's got like a secret um, area, which leads to, I think, kind of the, almost the same area where Leon got to in his scenario. Let's just combine some herbs. Is there another one? No. There we go. Right, so, let's go. Pull out the chopper fire. Oh, God. I'm really rusty. I don't know what's going on here, but let's just pop out the door. These bloody crows, I tell you. Very, very uh, annoying little buggers. But I am finding, and I didn't notice this before, Claire feels a lot lighter. Um, the physics of each character is, is really good. They haven't just tried to, you know, cut and paste and be like, oh, well, we'll have Leon control the same sort of Claire. I mean, they do control the same, but you can feel like the Claire's slightly lighter. So we pull, now pull out the fire. I'm wondering if there's an important puzzle piece in there or if there's grenade rounds. I'm going to check it just in case, because um, I just can't remember with all the items being jigged around. Right, and we will move this way. Let's just have a butcher's. Oh, it's just acid rounds. Don't need them. I've got everything I'm ever going to need right here. Oh, what's happening now? Okay, it's the new social worker. The new social worker has arrived. <laughs> so, oh my god. Actually, I'm <laughs> just messing around. This guy's name is Mr. X, and he's a tyrant that's been um, placed into the uh, situation in order to get his hands on the G virus. He's like an extra uh, weapon that Umbrella are using. Now, his job is basically to hunt out anybody who gets in his way. Uh, he's basically after Sherry. Um, and the little girl whom Claire will meet later on. 
Look, even the crows are shite scared of him. They've run off. <laughs> but yeah, Mr. X, uh, this kind of tyrant, will haunt you throughout the whole adventure, pretty much. He'll start turning up and he'll just come out unexpectedly to kind of give you a scare. You want to kind of take him down and get him out of the way as much as possible because he will dole out some serious damage. Um, but if you got the rocket launcher, you've really got nothing to fear. When he appears, just blast him. Oh, is there another liquor here? No, it doesn't seem to be. Right. Oh, hello. Right, let's go in here. Now, there's something I need to do in here, isn't there? Because everything's kind of all rearranged, it's hard to know what I'm supposed to get. I think it's all still pretty straightforward. I've got the blue card key. See, like, we don't get it from Marvin in the B scenario, um, unfortunately. Okay. There you go. So it's little things like that occur, like lickers jumping from ceilings, uh, you get different enemies, and you get um, certain situations where the zombies are slightly faster and more kind of intense, and they kind of clump together a little bit more, making the game that much more challenging on a B scenario. Anyway, we've got that. Let's pop into this room. I should mention that Claire can open desks. She's got a lockpick, which will prove very, very useful. I'm just seeing if there's any point in me picking up any items here. I don't think there is, really. Let's go on, on to the landing. Right. And I think the zombies are here. I've got to be careful because I don't want to run into them. The zombies seem to be in a different position as well. So let's drop the emergency ladder. And we might as well go down the ladder and access the key card. I think that ah, I know what I need to do. Basically, I need to get the um the spade key, don't I? And basically the um the fountain medal is up here. Or the unicorn medal, I should say. I'm so sorry guys, I can't get the words out today. Don't know what's going on. Take out the zombies, there you go, beautiful. Let's move past them. Yes, it's right there. I knew there was something there. Let's turn around. And we've got to take it down. I can't believe I remembered that. But yes, yeah, like little details like that, that's what makes Resident Evil 2 so awesome. You know, it's like you could play this game like so many times and never have the same game twice. I think you'd have similar runs, but Due to the um, enemy patterns changing and everything, you get one hell of a challenge. I mean, I can remember when this game first came out for the PlayStation 1, and I played the hell out of the game. Absolutely uh, one of the best games ever made. And then it came out on Platinum, which was even more value. And like Platinum was like um, PlayStation 1 games, which were like high sellers and like a year after they come out they or something like that they become platinum and it's like 20 quid for resident evil 2 so i re-brought it because uh, you know an extra copy of this game is just incredible all right so we're going to go in this room um we're going to go the conventional route this is the route that kind of leon um would take but we need to clear out this room you see how zombies are now in this room <laughs> 